All right, pre-workout meal, two bananas. It uh, must be about 3.30. I've had a triple shot coffee and it's party time today because it's my sister's birthday. I've just spent like a couple of hours with her and my dad. Um, I haven't actually got her anything today. What we're gonna do is, it's Friday today, she goes back on Wednesday, so on Monday, I'm gonna pick her up in the morning and we're gonna go driving around the bays um, to a few old places that we, you know, we've got shitloads of memories from. You know, breakfast, lunch, dinner, all on me. We're just gonna have a mean day and hopefully it'll be sweet. So I've told her that, she's happy. That's all good. Um, party starts at like six, it's like three now. So I'm gonna eat these and then head to the gym, get a session in before I, before I go and drink. Um, you know, probably won't make any gains from it, but it'll make me feel good and burn some calories. Um, you know, at the end of the day, alcohol is just, it's sugar, but it's a de fucking makes you dehydrated, doesn't it? So you feel like shit the next day. But definitely keen to crack into a few drinks. I haven't drunk for like, fuck. Honestly, like, <laughs> I've probably had two two nights drinking since New Year's. So what is it now? It's like April, well, it's April 8th. So, um, yeah, haven't really drunk too much. But anyways, that's, this is what, this is my old favorite. This is what I used to drink, and it's what I'm gonna drink tonight. So I've got Jim Beam and Coke Zero all night. Uh, plus whatever else, who knows what I'm gonna have. But uh, yeah, just just put up. I just well actually look before I do go to the gym and before I get pissed tonight, I just want to say um, I released the second video, second episode last night, and a mate Achilles, you're probably gonna be watching this, bro. Um, called me out for I I couldn't even remember what I actually said in the video. I mean I made that that episode I. You know, that was a month ago when I actually said those things. But yeah, I said that the people around me, like the people in my circles, my group of friends and that group of peers, um, don't, they don't think the same way as me um, as far as property is concerned and as far as investing is concerned and, and you know, building wealth and that. Like, I know, I know that's not everyone's cup of tea. Like, a few people, you know, like, some people don't care about money and they, they seriously just don't care about money but I mean the fact is is money makes the world go around at, at the end of the day without money you can't do anything so it'd be wise to be putting in you know plans and, and strategies right n like now at your age at my age to make life a shitload easier in the future and that's what I'm all about that's what I'm doing at the moment with investment properties um, I feel like bricks and mortar is the best investment like I've always thought that I mean I've always liked property I've always liked the the thought of owning a real estate portfolio and I mean you you hold on to houses like even if you get a bad deal man you hold on to it for long enough you're still gonna come out of it sweet so my strategy is buy and hold I'm not gonna sell anything that I acquire let's hope I don't, I'm not, let's hope I'm not forced into doing that, but I don't plan on it. Anything I buy now and, you know, in the next five years, I'm planning on having for at least 15, 15 years, 10, 15 years. So, anyways, what I wanted to say is that Achilles called me out. He's, he's one of my best mates. He really is. And, you know, you're probably watching this right now, but I definitely wasn't you know, trying to offend any of my personal friends by saying that. I mean, I, to be honest, at the time, I didn't even think about you guys, about my actual close group of mates, the boys that I go out with, you know, go to stereos with them, all that shit. Um, I'm not including you guys because you are friends no matter what. I don't really give a fuck what you're doing. Friendship is extremely important to me. So I'm hoping that you don't think that anymore. And bro, I'm sorry if it came across like that, but yeah, I'm basically talking about the rest, the rest of the population, not my mates. Like, I couldn't, I couldn't care less what you guys do, as long as you're happy, and as long as you're my mate, and as long as you keep lifting. That's the main thing, so. 
anyways, that's a bit of um, bit of emotional talk for you. But my friends and my family are the most important thing to me. You know, money's nothing without them, without someone to share it with. So, yeah, I hope you guys didn't think that. But anyways, I am about to go and train. I should be training legs, but I'm not going to. I am going to train... Um, chest. A big back session last night. Actually, no, I trained chest the day before that, and then arms. Fuck. I really should train legs, but uh, we'll see what happens. I'm not. I'm not really sure. I'll let you know when I know. But I am feeling quite energetic right now, so I should probably make the most of it and hit legs. So that's probably what I'll do. All right, people. All right. The day is Sunday. Yesterday, complete and utter write-off. I don't know if you can hear my voice, but fuck, not only did I wake up absolutely hungover as fuck yesterday, um, I woke up with some sort of cold as well, so yesterday was just absolutely 110% recovery day, and you know, I really wanted to hit the gym, um, but honestly, all that happened was I just ate a shitload of food, um, and laid on the couch watching TV, so... I'm not gonna, you know, I'm not gonna lie to you guys. I'm gonna be absolutely 100% real and admit that alcohol is up to fuck all. And yeah, okay, I had a mean night, it was cool. But seriously, I could not do that to myself every weekend day. Eh? It's just fucks. But I think like, because I've got this cold now, I'm feeling a little bit shitter than I would have. But seriously, man. <laughs> I know why I don't drink that much, that's for sure. So anyway, I've just arrived at any time. It is Sunday, last time I talked to you guys was Friday up, Friday night, I went, in, I went and smashed some arms. Didn't do legs, I went and did some arms instead. Probably should have done legs, but anyways, um, basically today I'm just gonna get something done. I've got my belt and I've got my uh, leg day shoes but I really don't know whether I'm actually going to do legs or not. I don't think I am. I think it's just going to be something chest. Chest and shoulders. Something like that. Still feel pretty fucking shit. Uh, so yeah, it's a bit depressing really because, you know, I was going, travelling so well on my diet. And then yesterday I just completely fucked it. Like I would have had probably five or six thousand calories and I'm hoping that it was relatively low in fat so that you know all I'll use it for is basically a massive refeed um, but I'm feeling you know still feeling lean as like I felt fucking lean on Friday I felt so motivated so good and then it sucks because I, I really let myself down but anyways you gotta live you gotta live a little it's my sister's birthday that's the reason I came over to New Zealand so fuck you know can't feel too bad about it but anyways definitely haven't drunk enough water still catching up like still feeling dehydrated so I'll be smashing back the water this workout and we'll see how we go I feel sick I literally feel fucking sick did legs man did legs. I'm halfway through, in fact, recorded the way through. Just finished the first super set, which was Smith Machine squats and goblet squats. Now, I did six sets, 10 reps each. So 10 reps of Smith, Smith Machine squats, 10 reps of goblet squats. Uh, six times. And look, just a bit of a real, real talk here, man. These are the times that, in the long run, will separate champions from the rest. I believe so. Now, I'm not usually one to, you know, fucking Skype and brag about putting in work when no one else is. But um, I do put in work. 
I put in a hell of a lot of work. And that is the only reason why I'm where I am today, is through hard work and through determination to see something through and not, not give up. You know, I could have given up today, that's for sure. But, but I know that having put in 110% today, even when I'm feeling like absolute shit, I will feel that much better tomorrow for it. And when you do come off, when you do fall off the horse, fall off the bandwagon, shit, I only fell off for two days and I already feel bad enough, but let's say you've done it for two weeks, or even a month, two months, you've fallen off, haven't gone back in the gym, because you just keep putting it off, putting it off, putting it off. Well, it's gonna get harder before it gets easier, guys. So, put in the work today for a better tomorrow. Whatever, whatever your goals are, doesn't need to be fitness related, but if you are looking at losing weight and you have fallen off the bandwagon, just jump right back on. Get on things like Instagram, get motivation, watch videos on YouTube, have a coffee for the first four or five hours of the day. You already get, you already get past lunchtime, you haven't even eaten yet, so you can have good, good sized meals for the rest of the day. That's what I do, I do infinite fasting. So, I'll push out my first meal, four or five hours, um, easily, you know. I might be getting, getting a bit hungry by the time I do eat, but that's good. You don't, when you're trying to lose weight, you don't want to eat when you're not hungry. At the end of the day, it's going to, get, it's going to be harder before it gets easier, guys. Remember that. And I pretty much just forgot that I was doing legs. So now, second exercise, walking lunges with a barbell. Up and down, up and down, up and down, up and down, up and down. However many it takes, man. All good. Second exercise, done. Walking lunges, 30 kg barbell. Up and down, up and down, up and down, up and down. So it's four sets. I did two sets of just, um, just normal walking lunges. The last two sets, I did a two rep on each walking lunge. So I'd step with my foot, go down, up halfway, down again, and then onto the next one. And I did that for two sets. Um, I took more rest pauses than that, and I've just finished, and I'm uh, feeling really fucking good. I mean, I could, I could leave now and be sweet. I've put in a good 45, 50 minutes of leg work on a hangover. Fucking, I feel so much better than I did before, but realistically I don't, because I feel pretty sick still. But I'm going to push through, I'm going to do some leg extensions and <sighs> hamstring curl. Super set, and uh, that'll be it. So, see how we feel after that. <sighs> why do I do it to myself? That's why I don't drink. Fuck no. Yeah.